Welcome to all of you looking at blending teaching strategies, technology, and emerging trends to create engaging educational environments. Now, I was playing around with Camtasia Studio the other day, and I kept running into a problem. I would have a screencast or something where it was just a little bit too short or a little bit too long for the narration that I was trying to get in there. Now, normally I would go in and I would try and do something like re-record that screencast, or I'd try and find an image or something that I could put over it to cover the gap, or I'd try and snip out a couple words here or there just to make it squeeze together. There was a lot of stuff that took a lot of work, and although it may have worked in the end, I didn't want to keep having to go with that long of a process. Now, I had also seen on a lot of videos that other people had done where it was some of those action sequences where they were doing normal speed and then it slowed down or it was something that normally would have taken a long time to complete and they sped up the pace to make those repetitive tasks go a lot faster. Now, not only does that create a cool effect, but it got me to thinking, could I use something like that to slightly extend the video out or shorten the video messing around with its play speed so that it fits the narration better? Well, fortunately, Camtasia Studio has a tool for that called ClipSpeed. So let's go ahead and take a second to look at that tool, just in case you run into the same problem I had, or you want to add that little bit more of an impact on your videos going forward. Now to use the clip speed, as with most of the other tools we've had in Camtasia Studio, what we need to do is start with a video in the timeline. Now something that's unique with clip speed that's not on a lot of the other tools we have is that it doesn't work on groups overall. It only works on an object that is a video. So annotations, no dice. Images, no dice. There are other ways to extend and shorten those. This only works on video clips. Now once we have the video clip down in the timeline, we add the clip speed by simply going to the visual effects on the main menu. If you don't see the visual effects, you may need to click on the more button, since usually visual effects is a little bit lower on the menu. Once you have clicked on visual effects, you'll see click speed as an option. So click clip speed and then drag it onto the video clip in the timeline. You'll see that it adds a new area to our properties tab where we can go in and adjust the clip speed. When adjusting it, just realize that the numbers that are greater than one make the clip faster. So it's like watching it at two or three times the speed. If you want it to go slower, you need to change the clip speed to something lower than one. Then it makes the video a little bit longer because it makes everything go slower. And that's all you got to do to adjust the clip speed. It's super easy. The hardest part is actually probably just trying to figure out how much you want to lengthen it or how much you want to shorten it by. Now the problem that I had mentioned earlier, there's one other trick that can help us get around that, and that is to adjust the clip speed but also use the clipping of a video together. So here, you can see that I have a narration track on the bottom and a screencast on top. Now ideally, everything would have synced up perfect. However, if some of my words aren't perfect, I can add the clip speed and start adjusting it. Now, However, that may push some words that are further down on the clip off track. So to fix that, before we get there, I can clip the video, and now I can go into the second piece of that clip video and adjust the speed to a different speed. I can just keep doing that all the way down the line until I've synced it up perfectly like I like. No more problems for this guy. And clip speeds are that easy in Camtasia. I really wish I would've known about this tool a while ago when I was doing screencasts in the past. It would've saved me a ton of time on editing the narration and screencast together. With that being said, it also makes some really cool effects when you're trying to do action sequences or if you want to go through something really quick because you just don't want to spend that much time on the video going through a process where there's not much happening. With that being said, there's also a ton of tools out there in Camtasia that you probably haven't played around with. And if there's someone you're curious about, throw it down in the comment section and we'd be happy to go in and try and make a video where it explains what the tool is and how to use it in Camtasia. With that being said, if you also like videos like this where we're trying to blend the teaching strategies with technology to help make our trainings and our lessons a little bit stronger, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're always trying to push out new content to get these tools in your hands to make those educational experiences just that much better. In the meantime, good luck, keep building, and we look forward to seeing what you guys create.